welcome back to Refining with Jesse, the Life Coach. So today we are discussing about how do you invest in yourself. So how do you invest in yourself, guys? How do you give back to self? Is there any specific things that you do for yourself on a weekly, monthly, yearly, consistent basis? And if you don't, why not? As people who have so many responsibilities going on, you gotta always check in with self and say, how are we living? Are we good? You know, do we feel burnt out? Are we okay with how things are going in our life? And if the answer is no, then you need to start checking in how you live in and what needs to change. A lot of people do not invest in themselves. They do not pay themselves for the jobs that they do. So as individuals, as people, we hold so many different titles and so many different responsibilities. And it feels at times like the world is on our shoulders, right? Like the burden becomes so, 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 so much. So how do you invest in yourself? How do you give back? Are you paying yourself? Are you paying yourself for the job well done? Are you paying yourself for the little things you do every single day? Are you paying yourself for being a good person? Are you paying yourself for being a person who lives in integrity in a world where there pretty much is a lack of? You know, are you paying yourself for being a kind person? Are you paying yourself for being a good mother? Are you paying yourself for being a good father? Are you paying yourself for being a good spouse, a good sibling, you know, a good friend? How do you invest in yourself and how do you pay yourself back? You know, what is your worth? So one of my new videos is about traveling. I constantly hear from different people, especially people I coach, is that they cannot afford to travel. They wish they could travel. It's one of their big dreams, it's one of their desires, but they can't do it and you know, it's just not in the cards for them. They feel like people who travel the world, you know, they're in some type of different type of scope. So what I hear a lot is that the people who get to travel the world are the people who are lucky, you know, they have money and they have who are extremely fortunate and are in a different circumstance than these individuals who say they cannot travel. So I'm here to tell you that that is false. So one of the big reasons why people cannot achieve this desire is because they are not planning it. They are not organized. They're not organized with their finances. So anybody can invest in travel. You just have to get organized and have to get in line to what you want, just like any other goal. So if your goal is to travel, then you need to just start getting in alignment with that goal, just like any other goal that you are going to pursue. When you pursue a goal, you need to have a foundation that you are following. And the same thing goes for travel. So you may not be one of those people who could get up out of the whim and just go traveling wherever you want to go, but that doesn't mean it cannot happen for you. It just means that you have to plan and organize it a little bit more further ahead than others. That's the only difference. You know, a lot of people think, you know, I gotta have all this money and you know, I have to have all this extra. No, what you have to do is budget. Budget, 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 create it, organize, plan. Keyword is to get organized and to create a plan. So, you know, if you have a travel dream that's like $2,000 and you're like, there's no way I can save $2,000, there is a way, you just have to plan it in advance. So you know, right now we in 2019, make a plan to start saving and get your dreams accomplished by 2022, 2021, 2020. You know, you have a year, two or three years out, you have to do it in advance. There's a lot of places where you can put down payments and pay slowly. You don't have to put all the bulk of your money up front and cruises are a good way to do that. So I always tell people if you're looking to start off traveling and you've never been on a cruise, try a cruise. With cruises you are able to put a small amount of money down and then you can pay an installment. So depending how much in advance you are going to book your cruise, you know, you'll be putting down $50 to $100 down and then depending, like I said, how far along is it, let's say it's 15 months, then within that 15 months you'll probably have to pay $30, $40, $50 a month. When you break that amount down into you know days if it's like a dollar or something like that 50 cents so don't focus on the daunting amount the amount is what's gonna sway you saying I can do it and you know thinking I need to take that trip right now no think into the future so you want to travel and you want to get started well think of trips that you want to take in 2020 2021 you have a year to two years to save for that travel even if you have kids, you could break that down as well. A lot of people are like, I can't travel because I have kids. You know, it's just too expensive. Well, create a plan. Create the plan now and in four to five years, you could have a good amount of savings 
to start tackling those travel desires that you have. Everything is about perspective and it's about making things a priority. So for me, for instance, I think of travel as a part of my self-care. I think of it as a part of my education. I think when you go to travel, you know, you see different parts of the world, you experience different people, experience different cultures. It has educational value. There has not been anything greater than traveling that actually has humbled me and has led me to appreciate life to the degree that I do now. I have gone to places that is just, their way of living is so, so low that when I come back to the US, I feel, I feel so grateful to be able to have certain freedoms that you don't always have in other countries. But you won't know that until you travel outside the US. And I was able to do it a very minimum income. And if I can do it, you can do it. There's nothing different about me than there is about you. The only difference is that I have made it a priority. I have made sacrifices to be able to travel. I have taken on second jobs. I have taken on part-time jobs. I have done extra work. I have worked, you know, late nights. I do the research. I do, you know, it goes on and on and on. You know, to learn more about it, you definitely look into my latest video about traveling the world, how to travel the world on a budget. So there are always solutions to any problem you have. Remember that you gotta think of everything in a positive mindset. And if you make traveling a priority and you create an organized plan around it and you get really serious about this desire that you have, then you can conquer and you can make it come true. I think about traveling as a spiritual gift to myself. It does balance out my energies and when I come back, my soul is at ease. So that's how you have to think about it. That's how I think about it. You know, when I need a break and everything feels too much, I actually book a trip and when I come back, I feel nice and grounded, nice and centered. That stress has been lifted. The burdens have released, you know, and I'm able to clear my mind. You know, my, my soul is in alignment. I'm in alignment. And when I come back, I'm a better person. I'm a better person to, I'm a better person to my family. I'm a better person to my friends. I'm a better person to everyone I engage with. So there are a lot of benefits to traveling, you know, if you just think of it as something that is, you know, a luxury and something that is an extra and something that you don't need. You always say that something like, oh, I don't know if I really want to invest in that. But if you see it as something that balances you out, that gives your soul alignment, see it as something more spiritual and see it as a gift to yourself. You know, that's another thing I do. I see traveling as a gift to myself. It's an investment in me. You know, I don't pay myself every single day. Every single day, I'm not treating myself. So the way I do that for me is through travel. Let's say I have a trip that's $1,500, and I'm saving for that trip within 15 months. That's $100 a month I have to save, and that's about like around $3 a day. So that's how I would invest in myself. That's how I pay myself back. So every day, I'll take out, you know, $3 and whatever the extra is, and I'll put it aside. And I will justify that by saying I'm paying myself for a job well done. Every person I don't, you know, you know, flip on during the day, every person that I'm able to interact with on a balanced level, every person that, you know, I treat with kindness, every kindness that comes out of me that I give to others, any good energy that I spread, you know, I'm rewarding myself with that $3 and, you know, whatever the change is on a consistent basis. And then I get to celebrate that in 15 months by going on a vacation definitely have to look into how you are investing in yourself. How am I giving back to myself? Am I worth it? Of course you are. We are all worth it. There's no monetary value to put on our worth and who we are as individuals and how we contribute to this world and how we contribute to others. So, you know, some things cannot take the measurement of a dollar value. So you got to remember that. And so I don't put a dollar value on myself and neither should you because we are amazing, beautiful beings of light. So guys, if you haven't invested in yourself in a while, start thinking about how can you invest in yourself and give back. And if it's travel that you're looking to do, that's the way you make sense of it. Travel is just not something that's luxurious that other people get to experience. You can experience it as well. And when you're spending the money, you're like, oh my gosh, should I have, you know, spent all this money? Yes, you should, because you are worth it. You are worth that trip. You are worth investing in yourself. You are worth giving back to yourself. And you are worthy of being in an alignment, getting yourself spiritually grounded, and getting yourself into a spiritual practice for yourself. 
So think of it like that. Remember, everything is mindset, 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 mindset. Once you get that balanced mindset, everything starts changing. Your perspective about everything is going to start changing. So guys, that is all I have for you today. Like I said, definitely go check out that video. If you like this video, definitely give me a thumbs up. And um, I will see you in my next one. Bye.